Kiwara, Alina here with Kiwi Connect. I'm here at New Frontiers 2016 with Guy Ryan, who is the CEO of Inspiring Stories and was the 2015 Young New Zealander of the Year. Um, tell us about your experience being the Young New Zealander of the Year. That's quite an honour. Uh, yeah, quite an honour. Um, so that was last year, 2015, and I guess... Uh, it built on celebrating the the work, the programs, the partnerships that we'd developed um, to support young New Zealanders to unleash their potential to change the world, um, which has been this incredible journey over the last five years. Uh, and then I guess the Young New Zealander of the Year Award helped to further raise and amplify the profile of some of the work that we're doing, some of the young people that we work with, um, but also had its challenges as well, I would say, um, to be very honest. You know, I think... Um, on one hand, just wanting to really honour and do that, um, you know, do that award justice, but at the same time also getting so many speaking requests, you know, like, <laughs> can you speak at this, can you speak at this, can you speak at this, can you do this media interview, like literally five to ten every single week, and having to kind of balance that and wanting to do it justice, but also um, commit to doing the work that we do and supporting young New Zealanders is a, is a hard thing to balance sometimes, but right. an amazing year. Yeah, I imagine quite the quite the balancing act. Um, in what sort of ways do you um, encourage and support young New Zealanders to realise their potential? Yeah, so um, I mean, broadly speaking, we talk about this journey from inspiration to action. So um, trying to support young people to explore big issues that affect their future. Um, you know, what's their vision for the future of their place or the world? Uh, opportunities to develop their skills, their capability, their connections, their confidence, um, to grow their ideas to make a difference. So to do that, we, uh, we run a big national event called Festival for the Future, uh, which is amazing. Um, we run a, a, a nine-week intensive summer accelerator program called Live the Dream. Those are probably two of the bigger flagship initiatives that we run. Um, and then a few other layers of programs and partnerships to support young people on their journey. Right. Um, one of the themes that we've been talking a lot here at New Frontiers about is the idea of story and the role of story in, in the changes that we're going to see over the, um, the next decade or two or ten um, here in New Zealand. What what role do you see story playing in, in the work that these young people are doing? Huge. Uh, hugely important. So, um, I mean, the name of our organisation is Inspiring Stories and part of uh, the thinking before setting it up is I'd done a, a mas master's looking at three things actually, looking at um, science around climate change, uh, psychology around attitude change and behaviour change, and then how story and narrative can play a role in changing attitudes and behaviour. And I think, you know, you think about the, the picture that the media often portrays is a very negative one of young people. Uh, and I think uh, in the simplest sense, one of the most important things that we can do is celebrate the good stuff that, that's going on, um, but frame that in a way that is a compelling and engaging narrative, right? You know, I think um, having access to posi positive, visible role models that young people can relate to. Um, stories can, um, can shape our attitudes and behavior and, and powerful stories can be catalysts for action. So if stories can be catalysts for action, you know, then once I'm inspired to do something, what's my kind of pathway forwards then to actually do that thing and develop my capabilities so that I can be more effective? Um, so I think, you know, in uh, transforming our world for the, for the better in the many ways and forms that we, that we need to do that stuff, I think storytelling has a huge role to play. And are you seeing a lot of uh, similar similar themes emerging in the type of work that these young people are undertaking? Are there particular issues that they are drawn to be working towards? Um, yes and no. I think um, there's a huge diversity in terms of the, the dreams and aspirations that young people have in terms of you know the issues that they think are important. Um, you know, just to give you a sense, some of the young people that we work with have worked across arts and culture, health and well-being, housing, transport, energy, um, youth development, community development, technology, education, and it's very diverse, right? You know, and I think as um, diverse and beautiful as our world is, as are the, the dreams and aspirations and, and areas that young people want to make a difference. And I think the diversity gives it its richness as well. Sounds like these are the young leaders for the world that we need. Maybe we'll see uh, one of them being Young New Zealander of the Year oh, in a few years. I'm absolutely sure we will, yeah. It's a matter of time, right? Um, and I think our biggest challenge is, you know, how we actually... Because uh, sometimes the biggest barrier is confidence, 
you know, and actually empowering a young person to think that, well, why can't they change the world, you know, and why can't they rally a group of people to, to grow an idea that can actually make a profound um, difference in our communities or, our, or the world that we live in? Of course they can, but sometimes things seem hugely scary and overwhelming and that can be a really hard place to be. So backing young people in the simplest sense is a really important thing that we as communities and a nation can do. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Guy. Thank you very much.